Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for all um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you and welcome um, all newcomers and welcome back all subscribers. I want to say to each and every person, I'm so grateful. I'm so, so very grateful. I am as <laughs> ecstatic with gratitude to each and every person out there who comes back each and every week to listen to my readings and each and every month thank you um, and you, know, you cancers have been going through so many things but yet still there is hope and uh, once you learn to change your energy vibration and once you start to um, involve more love and less um, you know holding on to things trying to let go of things you are going to see a positive positive change in your life i promise you um this month is going to be a month of uh, the changing of the guards whatever is happening it's going to be a month of the changing of the guards because we are vibrating with the energy vibration of uh, the um the energy of uh, the um the star energy so this month is the energy of the star it's a word month to um to the vibration of the stars but i know why it happened it's because uh, the universal beams are coming down and they are coming from the events so this is what they wanted to bring in um in for you guys is that the energy of the star energy is going to bring positive positive um, and changes to you guys I'm trying to find a star <laughs> so this is going to be a wonderful wonderful month I'm using the um, cards I'm using different cards because of the um, the new things that are coming in the spiritual beam that are coming in so I'm using a new things okay so this is extremely positive this has been one of the most positive times in our lives and especially for you cancers it's coming to the end of a situation in your life please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign and the general energies of the month of July it's going to be very very important this month of July we begin with the uh, zodiac energy of water and we end with a zodiac energy of fire for you guys this week is just going to be a week of uh, a lot of changes happening for you guys uh, really a lot of changes the energies of the women are going to be triumphant over diversity so and new doors of opportunities are going to happen so you women are going to be triumphant over certain aspects in your life new doors of opportunities are going to happen um, advice is some for some people so a lot of changes are coming in and um, we need to understand um, these changes that are coming in because they are giving us information and this information we need to work with because um, working with these information is going to be a profound wonderful time because they are going to help us uh, to elevate ourselves at the eye innovation okay so what's there is happening um, to you guys out there you need to understand that you need to hold positive thoughts uh, to whatsoever that has been happening okay because obviously a lot of changes are going to happen here in this um, month in the third week there is going to be transformation the second week ju judgment is going to uh, justice is going to be here um, and, and this justice has to do with a situation of two people luck the, the, the energy of luck is here whatever that has been blocking you um, there are certain things that has been blocking your luck okay and it's going to start changing it's going to start changing there's a block um, but it's going to charge to start changing so your luck is going to start changing there's transformation there's going to be conflicts at the end of uh, um, the month and this conflicts is over your um, your biases your financials your need um, and, and you begin the month with defeat and uh, at the end uh, of the month you have uh, the energy of uh, your base chakra needs to be ill so whatsoever is happening here it's a, it's a conflicting um, set of energy and it's not really conflicting but it's as if uh, some people want to get out and uh, you know change their lives and uh, 
that what is happening is that uh, there are people and situation that seems to be blocking them every time they move uh, um, um, luck comes back so your luck is going to come back so you know if there was difficulty luck comes back your luck is going to come back whatever it was that somebody was um, you know stopping your luck breaking your luck your luck is going to come back and this is good so this is good uh, this is good okay <laughs> so it is good because luck is coming back especially for the women you women luck is coming back to you so whatever is happened you know luck women the women are going to be very lucky and optim optimistic and you know if anything whatever it had happened uh, something had happened um, before um, the first week of the month that has broken you or block your luck you know uh, this it will happen in five days that it's going to change in five days so five days would be um, the last week the changes are going to come in for you people so you know this is this is wonderful whatever and however you see it your luck will be coming back so whosoever had that add a block your luck you are going to see that the luck your luck is going to come back so quick action aggressive someone has a, a shocking pass a, a resolution um, and so this sort of a thing is going to happen so whatever that has been blocking your luck is going to be um, you know it's going to be changing it's, 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 it's going to be changing because whatever that was blocking your luck is going to be lifted it's, it's, it's really going to be lifted and I, I, I can tell you people that people will and can block your luck okay people will and can block your luck so you need to understand that and ask your guides and angels for divine intervention to remove all these blocks that people have placed for you because people are not people some people are not nice not all people but some people are not nice so whatever um, whoever luck that was blocked out there it's going to be a positive endeavor of this change and let's see um, what your numbers are I see five I see justice is 11 I see seven and the on the one um, there's um, the changes um, you have the page six another one so it's new beginnings that is 30 which is 13 that is four so the number six is um, um, the six um, this is 11 it's 11 oh my gosh justice uh, 11 three times so you have the number 11 energy you have 11 three times oh my gosh wow so uh, for a lot of you can says uh, um, um, 11.11 11 is going to be your number 11.11 11 is going to be your number for the month of July whatever is happening here um, there is something uh, portals are opening because your block the block is going away whatever that has happened in the past the block or the blocks are removing and whatsoever that happened in the past okay I've been rambling on for a time okay what do we have in the first week the first week you have the hair energy and the first week you have the air energy conflict and defeat conflict and defeat this is the five of uh, um, swords the five of swords is not conflict and defeat I wish people will understand the five of swords five of swords is you will in a battle because you end up 
with all this the swords two swords in your hand three on the ground and two people turning their back away and conflict and defeat no you have tried to resolve res resolve a situation in your life so whatever that situation is you're trying to resolve that situation in your life by trying to resolve that situation in your life you will have a fear of see and this is good because you are trying to um, make common grounds with um, the persons you had this conflict in your life with okay and by that um, you are trying to change your financial situation the page of Pentacles is going to come whoever is blocking um, your situation ask the universal angels for divine intervention um, to remove um, the, the, that person or that situation that is a b blocking your financial situation and as you see whatever is blocking there is going to be an improvement of your luck in the second week okay so the conflicts in the first week is to clear the energy vibration and as I said conflicts as to happen because if conflicts doesn't happen the energy vibration will not change okay in the second week the number 11 which is a gate a portal is opening up your universal angels are coming in I wanted you guys to see this card I think it's one of the most beautiful cards and um, the balance you need to bring balance in your life this is really balance this is balance whoever is out there you need to bring balance in your life whatsoever that has been happening you need to bring balance in your life there's a situation with a partner that uh, um, a couple out there that needs to bring balance in their life they have been fighting and um, it, this a situation I'm getting that someone out there a, par a partner or someone out there who is fighting against their masculine and feminine who is a little bit unbalanced right now you need to bring balance in your life if you have a situation that has been going on there's a, going to be a disponency okay a despondency so if you had done something and you think you're going to um, come out on top it's not going to happen there is going to be a despondency that means you are not seeing clearly whatever is happening you're not seeing clearly and um, there is a situation with the lovers in this week so this balance that you need to bring is with your partner whoever is out there with a situation with your partner there's an unbalance and you're not seeing that this person was sent from the universe for you this person was sent from the universe with you you're a bit disponent in this relationship and you need to realize that this person is your lucky charm and you need to look at this most closely um, at the situation that you are having there needs to be balance in your um, your relationship okay as we look forward choose wisely choose wisely and this has to do with people who are having um, an extra marital relationship um, extra relationships this is also for people who new opportunities new doors of opportunities are going to open up for them so choose wisely and this is in the third week be aware of what is happening and choose wisely no matter what you do choose wisely and by choosing wisely self-worth is going to help you so if you have no self-worth you can't really choose wisely you need to have self-worth so you can choose wisely if you do that you will be victorious so you women out there you need to have self-worth and choose wisely whatever is happening does sound like a month of relationship situations that are happening with relationships so you need to find a self worth and choose wisely to whatever is happening in your life you women out there okay it affects the men but it affects the women mostly last and final week you have the energy of your base chakra you need to heal your base chakra whoever is out there and you're having um, financial problem getting things you need to heal your base chakra you need to let go of the emotional urge and that sort of a thing you need to call upon Archangel Gabriel visualize your back Beckham your back below um, your back and then you visualize a red light running over it and call upon Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael to touch open and activate and heal your 
a base chakras just say I now invite Archangel um, Gabriel and supervisor of Tone element as a fire fire and a Salomon and a fire dragon to touch open and activate uh, my base chakra and you will feel um, your as if uh, um, something is moving out of your your Beckham here like you know and um, then as your uh, base chakra is awakened you can create and you need to start creating you um, cancers you need to start creating and as you do this there will be a transformation and this transformation will release you from whatever conflicts that you have had in the first week it's going to release you from whatever conflicts that you have been having so this month is all about releasing what you're holding on to healing <coughs> sorry yourself um, some people luck is coming back which is good some people have the choices between relationships and that sort of a thing some people need to make better choices whatever that was happening um, you're going to see that um, whatever situation that has been happening you're going to see that it's going to be healed okay um, whatever conflicts there was it's going to be ill because it's a month of clearing and healing conflicts in your life okay um, need to write that down a month of clearing um, yeah and healing conflicts and that is going to bring in you back your luck so this is also good this is um, a positive positive um, situation that is coming in now so this is going to be very good so you know again for each and every person out there we vibrate on a different energy vibration level if even you're from the same sign but um, these things that is happening needs to be healed in your life okay um, we are looking forward um, and we're going to see what's happening and there's a lot of people who are having um, marriage extra relationships you could be having a relationship and there's other people extra people who you're seeing be aware of the situation some of you are working with it some of you are not um, and um, you know sometimes things can come back at you okay what are we seeing here for the love aspect the page of Pentacles is here in the first week so a lot of people will be connecting um, some people will be having children um, children who are being born um, who of water signs so you guys are going to receive children who are born under the water sign this is this is this is good because well, new kids are coming in and it's not like usually that no one ever that have less people less baby born under their parents or their um, a birth sign but this is happening now so kids are coming in as you know it's the, the energy of the page is always kids new baby or or being born um, under that energy vibration which is which is extremely good so this is positive as we move forward and we look at the second week with love what is happening we have Roy to play Roy to play is uh, um, you have the energy vibration of a waterman um a waste well, a waterman that is an aquarius or a libran or a gemini is coming in and this situation that is happening is that he is one to connect with you and he is the love of your life and he is going to bring you luck so this is good if you're going to connect with an aquarius a libra or a, an Aquarius a Libra of a Aquarius Libra of a Gemini it's a good person to connect with um, this is a wonderful um, relationship and he's going to bring you luck as we move forward we are looking in the third week at um, the um, energy of the men uh, connecting some women too could be connecting with the fire sign people which is uh, um, the Aries uh, the Leos and the um, um, Sagittarians. So, if you are 
someone who is connecting up with a fire sign it's going to be one of the following fire sign because the love energies are opening up and these are the people especially the men and women are going to be connecting up with these the, the women are going to be connecting up with these fire signs so Aries Leo and Sagittarius uh, uh, men so you know this is, is, is really a variation of what is happening as we move forward and we look at the last week the last week you guys are thinking and have the energy vibration of new love but it has to be a new love with someone who has money so you know whatever it is and whatever is in your energy vibration whatever you're playing with whatever is your part of your movie is happening in the last and fourth week because of your financial um, unbalance you are looking for someone who has money in the fourth week so you know I can't judge you and neither should you judge yourself whatever you feel is compatible with you that is what it is okay work seems to be on the back burner in this month for a whole lot of you zodiac signs so work seems to be on the back burner in july and july is the month of transit trans transition and and this is very good so you know that seems to be um on the back burner for most of the signs so it's not affecting you alone for the sun for the sun um cancers we have uh, Oh, whoa, we have the energy of Leo. For the Sun Cancers, we have the energy of Leo. As I've said, some of you are going to be connecting with the um, Aries, Leo, and uh, Sagittarius. Here we are. The Sun sign people will be connecting with the Leos, okay? Whatever is happening. Um, whatever is happening, I'm having this and I'm wondering. Luck, uh, you know, by connecting with the Leos, you might receive luck, but they are not you know if you connect with the Sagittarius men you will get luck because they are the ones who have luck but if you um, connect with the Leo's uh, um, the, the, the um, Jupiter came in in reverse form so these Leo men are not going to bring you luck so think about it and not it doesn't have to happen for everyone but um, think about it because the planet of Jupiter is always with the Sagittarians and this is a Leo so um, the, the, the planet of Jupiter was in the uh, retrograde and so with a, with a planet of Jupiter and you're connecting with Leo and this is the retrograde and this is this is saying a lot so be aware of uh, um, what you guys do as we look at the lunar energy the lunar energy is a uh, um, positive because the lunar energy you have the uh, um, I, I told you fire sign people here I am thanks to the angels and guide that you're um, you're putting a stamp on it that yes they are you guys or you can just or have to deal with the fire sign and this is the Aries I'm getting the Aries so you can just have to do with the Aries uh, and you are going to remove them out of your life whoever these Aries people are that you can just are connected with you are going to move them once and for all out of your life and this is extremely extremely good because whatsoever that relationship has come to an end and it is not supporting you in any way and you are deciding to release yourself from these people I'm calling up on the angels and guides for your last energy and this is good you have transformation not many people had transformation um, so this is a wonderful and with this transformation it is a systematic vital energy and life purpose this is good and uh, you need to go and look for the inner light illuminate within and guides me on my way so your focus is going to be um, inner light illuminates and guides me on my part the inner light illuminates and guides me on my part. Again, your number, um, your number energy is eleven point eleven. Your number energy is eleven point eleven. And I want to say to each and every person out there, Namaste. Have a wonderful, wonderful, and exciting month. Um, it's a lot of changes, but yet still enjoy because this is very important that we really connect. We need to heal the base chakras. And it's good that I return to this um, 
to the side because um, we need to heal the base chakras and the energy of the base chakra is red so try and wear a lot of red um, the uh, sound of the base chakra is lum 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 and the element is earth so it is your materialistic needs and um, it's the under Andreal um, 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 gal and I have I have so you should never I want it's I have I have this I have that whatever you need you tell the universe I have the house I want I have the car I want I have uh, the situations that I want in my life I have positive people in my life I have it's always I have it's not that I want it is always that I have there is something else that I'm guided to do but um, I will do it another time and I want to say to each and every person namaste until next week mm -hmm.